Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is warning Monday of new attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure after he said Russia suffered heavy losses and continued fierce attacks in the eastern Donetsk region. In his nightly video address Sunday, Zelensky also said he spoke via telephone with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, urging her and other Western allies to crack down on Iran for supplying its supply of attack drones to Russia. He said without the armed Iranian drones Russia is using, Ukraine would already be closer to peace. Zelensky said in the call he also discussed ensuring continued support for Ukraine in the months ahead. The request comes after the United States announced an additional $400 million in additional security assistance for Ukraine last Friday. VOA national security correspondent Jeff Selden explained to VOA's Flashpoint program Monday what's in this new package and how it's different from others. Late in the week, the U.S. came out and announced that it was giving Ukraine another $400 million in what it called security assistance as part of the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative. So this is money that is going to be coming as funding. It's going to go to U.S. contractors so that they can acquire more weapons, more supplies for the Ukrainian military. In this case, it's funding to refurbish some air defense missiles. It's going to go to pay for some refurbished tanks and also to buy some more of the Phoenix Coast drones that have been very effective for Ukraine, some boats, more ammo, tactical gear, and that sort of thing. So this, with this latest package, it brings the total amount of money that the U.S. has provided in security assistance to about almost $19 billion. Meanwhile, Ukraine announced it received its first delivery of Norwegian-made National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile Systems, or NASAMs, and Italian-made Abside air, defi air Defense Systems on Monday. One day before the U.S. midterm elections, U.S. Vote, U.S. voters, there are, the polarization of U.S. voters is more obvious than ever. Associated Press correspondent Rita Foley explains. Americans are fractured as we approach Election Day. The AP talked with more than two dozen voters, Democrats, Republicans, and unaffiliated. What we found out is that voters are anxious about where the country is headed. For Tony Bergita, a father and chairman of the Kansas Young Republicans, inflation is key. Our grocery bill has risen from $400 a month to uh, about $1,200 right now. Yeah, our kids have gotten a little older and my, my brother moved in, so there's other variables, but that's been a big thing for us. Jerry Chang of Philadelphia is a Democrat and a naturalized citizen who was born in China. I do have some uh, 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 worry and considerations about uh, especially two Republican uh, candidates who, who might take away some of the, uh, uh, the rights, the basic rights for especially toward uh, minority groups. I'm Rita Foley. Kremlin-connected businessman Yevgeny Prigozhin has admitted he interfered in U.S. elections and will continue to do so. A statement by the man known as Putin's chef because of a catering company he owns confirmed for the first time Monday accusations that he has rejected for years. In a posting on Russian social media, plat uh, social media platform, Prigozhin said, We have interfered, are interfering, and will continue to interfere. The marks came one day before the U.S. midterm elections in response to a request for comment. Prigozhin and other Russians were charged in 2018 with operating a covert social media campaign aimed at dividing the American public ahead of the 2016 U.S. presidential election. As world's leaders meet in Egypt this week for a week-long conference on climate change, a new report says hundreds of animals, including elephants and endangered zebras, have died in a Kenya wildlife preserves during East Africa's worst drought in decades. Associated Press correspondent Ed Donahue reports. The report says more than 200 elephants have died. Research scientist Jim Justice Niamo says elephants' need for water puts a big drain on supply. 240 liters of water per day. And it's the drought, it's, it's something to do with water and food. This is Kenya's worst drought in 40 years. Veterinary doctor Isaiah Alolo says elephants and other animals are affected by more than just a lack of water. First, uh, it's a form of stress that makes the, uh, the animal immunity to be lowered. And this uh, contributes to the infection because uh, the bacterial load and the parasites are opportunistic. Then they overcome the power of the immunity and in most cases you find that the animal will die. A Kenyan sanctuary is looking after elephant calves. Many have been made orphans by the drought. I'm Ed Donahue.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.